Hi guys, it's Angie and I'm coming today to do a um, my first uh, DT for Tracy Fox and that's Tracy Fox uh, Love Junk Journals here on YouTube and she's super amazing and <clears throat> she gave me the opportunity to be on her DT and I couldn't be more humble and more delighted and I am just super excited because I I'm new to the journal world and <clears throat> she has a ton of tutorials and videos about journaling and tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff. So I'm sure everybody knows Tracy, but if you don't, I will leave her um, her YouTube and her Etsy and her, <clears throat> her other links below. Excuse me. Um, so my first project I decided to do, she just came out with this and it's on her Etsy shop and it is her um, Bugs and Butterflies. Um, sorry about that. Both going crazy here. Um, Bugs and Butterfly Trifold Template Digital Kit. And so that's right here on her Etsy shop. So this is the one I got. And she offers three different kits. And so what I did is I took this one. And then um, she offers um, a blank one, a floral one, and the butterfly one. And I took the blank kit, which is just a blank kit that looks like... Here's kind of a printout what I had left over, just like this. So this is the blank kit. And so what you do is you just, um, I printed it out on cardstock and I um, basically dis disassembled the first butterfly kit and then mounted it on the uh, blank template kit. <laughs> so I kind of did a two in one. So this is my finished project. So this is a very grungy kind of Tim Holtzy kind of style um, little trifold journal. So here's the front of it, and what I did was I took some um, glossy, glossy enamel, kind of you know, like a glossy accent, and I put those on the butterfly just to like give them some depth and kind of, you know, dimension and pop up a little bit. I thought those turned out really good. And then I did some of these bitty bits and a little charm, and I did some stitch work on the side here. And like what I, what I said, well, here, I'll show you. And then I ended up having a closure in that and then I'll go ahead and show you how um, that how that happened <laughs> so underneath is the blank the blank um, folder or the blank um, template right so then I cut apart the butterfly template and I just mounted them on top of the blank template and before I did that I wanted mine to have a closure so um, I closed it up and made sure that I before I mounted the top, I put the ribbon in here, then brought it around onto the back, make sure you know which one your back is, and then mounted this on top of the blank um, template. And so I could have a closure like this, because I just thought, oh, it'd be fun to just, you know, have a closure on it. I don't know, I'm about the closures, obviously. <laughs> okay, so let's get in here. So I wrapped some um, cotton crochet thread, antique crochet thread around here, just to, so it'd be on the spine. And then, um, so this is how it starts out. Um, you have two tags here, which I just um, added some a tab on them of some um, ribbon here, cotton ribbon. And then I mounted um, everything I you see here is from the kit. So, um, like I said, I just did a little few embellishments um, with some string and ribbon um, and some charms. But everything else here is um, with the kit. And so here's the tags that come out like this. So they'll just um, pop out, <laughs> hopefully. I might have asked, oh, there we go. Because there was some glue in there too. Okay, so there's the kits and there's the butterfly. And I did the same thing, you guys. I just, this time I just kind of painted the enamel on instead of, well, it's not enamel. It's like, I think it's the uh, diamond glaze I think I used. So I just painted that on instead of, so it's kind of flat but shiny. Kind of gives it that um, depth to the color. And then over here is three tags, holds three tags over here. There we go. Three tags, and then they just pop out like this. So I just push them to the side here. And I just used her, um, she gave you these, these words to use. And so I just added them on the tags. And in the tags, you just, or I guess these are envelopes, um, they have a little picture in here. In the back, I um, hand wrote words on the back. So this one says love. And then that will go back in here like this. <clears throat> and then this one says insects. How cute are these, right? I just love the style. And then I did the same thing, you guys. I did all the butterflies with the um, 
glaze on top of it. And then this one says live. I wrote live on there. And then um, this one says bugs. I love nature. So this one was like, when this was released, I was like, yes, that is when I want to start up <laughs> because I just love nature. So here's another butterfly. And then that one says fly. I wrote fly on that one. And then you just pop them back in here, put them back. And then um, before I mounted down this strip, I tied some string around it, some thread, and then I just put a button here on top. I'll have to reattach that one. And then um, in here is, well, I love this. Okay, so this is a, here, let's do that. Okay. This is comes with the kit, so it's like a little travel book. And so I just added my own metal work up here, and then I just wrote a date up here. I'm, I had this thing with fives. I don't know, and I thought it'd be fun to incorporate, you know, I love a love for keys, but my number five in some of my journal work, um, that's just something that I decided to do because I just love the way the way the letter five looks is I don't really have anything else. I just like the way it looks. Okay. So this is my little journal. And what I did is I embossed, um, embossed it first. And then I took my distress inks. Um, I took, um, I think it's picket fence, weathered picket fence, I think by Tim Holtz, antique linen, um, uh, vintage photo and black soot. And I kind of just blended those all in. And then I took Tim's Holtz Crackle Medium. And you can't see it, but there's all these cracks all over here. So it kind of looks like mm, like a shiny piece of like leather, I would kind of say. Um, it just turned out amazing. I love it. I love it. And then this is um, the spine here. And then I just put, um, this also comes with her kit. So I added the notes on the book. And then I just did one signature in here. So there's like six pages in here. It was tea stained. Um, papers like uh, ledger paper um, and just tea stained paper and then um, I left the center and I added some dangles from it I just added a green bead and a key obviously and then this is the pocket that it tucks back into so it just goes right in here like that oh gosh this one's gonna bug me until I fix it <laughs> um, anyways and then I just put the dragonfly on there and I just stapled it with the tiny attacher. And then here is another um, pocket that has a big long tag in it. And you can, you know, <clears throat> write stuff on the back. And I just put one of uh, Tim Holtz clips. And again, I did the, the glaze on top of it. All the butterflies have that glaze effect on it. I just thought, like I said, it just adds some contrast to it and it just deepens the colors. And I, I love that. So that just goes right back in there. And then it just folds right back up like this. And then on the back, I just decided to um, add my five and then a signature. And I just, just did some sewing work. And then um, these don't come out that dark when you print them. I enhanced, um, they do come, she does have them all distressed and everything and ready to print out and use as is. But I just kind of went for a more, a more grungier look. Um, so that's kind of just what I did with um, this, these two sets put together. So anyways, again, that is the um, Love Junk Journal Bug Trifle Tag Template um, by Tracy. So uh, I will put the links below. Anyways, I hope you love this, Tracy. I had a ton of fun on my first um, DT project. Thank you so much for um, offering this opportunity to me. I, like I said, I'm, I'm truly humbled, and I hope I've done you proud. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.